Continue reading the Holy Gospel according to St. John with the explanation by Blasphemy Philak. Glory to your Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Chapter 6, verses 35 through 38. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that comes to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth in me shall never thirst. But I said unto you, that ye also have seen me, and believe not. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that comes to me I will in no wise cast out. For I came down from heaven not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. Explanation. Being earthy minded, the Jews thought that Jesus was speaking about ordinary bread, which is why they pressed him for more. But the Lord confutes them by saying, I'm the bread of life. He shows that they sought only material benefit from him and would stop following him as soon as they realized that what he offered was spiritual. The Lord does not call himself the bread of nourishment, but the, but the bread of life. When all mankind was spiritually dead because of sin, Christ, the spiritual bread, brought us to life again by leathering the lump of our human substance, making it like unto himself, and baking it with the fire of his divinity. He is the bread, not of the ordinary, everyday life to which we are accustomed, but another kind, one strange and marvelous, not cut short by death. A man who believes in such a bread shall never hunger. He will never be famished from he will never be famished for want of hearing the word of God. He will never suffer the spiritual drought of deprivation of the waters of baptism and the sanctification of the Holy Spirit. The unbaptized the unbaptized are parched with thirst, having no share in the refreshment of this holy water while the baptized have the Holy Spirit and are continuously refreshed. To show that the faith in Christ is not acquainted, acquired by chance, but is a gift from God, bestowed by the Father on those who are worthy and upright of heart, the Lord declares, All that the Father giveth me shall come to me. This means the Father gives me those who believe in me. You Jews, being unworthy, are not given to me by the Father, this is why you do not come to me. You are not a pride of heart. If you were, God the Father in his love for you would lead you to faith in me. And him that comes to me, I will in no wise cast out. This means I will not destroy, but will save him and prepare him to benefit from my delight care. For I came down from heaven for no other reason than to do the will of the Father. The Lord is teaching the Jews that a man who does not receive him is an enemy of God who opposes the will of the Father. Since they were insisting that he was the enemy of God, Christ turns the charge against them and says indirectly, You are the enemies of God who reject the one obedient to the will of the Father. This refutes Nestorius, who claims that Christ became divine after the resurrection. O oh, wretched man, do you not hear that the Jesus came down from heaven? He who descended from heaven must be God. A man cannot descend from heaven. If some have ascended to heaven like the prophet Elijah, God granted it on account of their virtue. Because his descended preceded his ascent, it is evident that Christ first descended from heaven as God, condescending to be made man. And then, as man ascended in the flesh into heaven, where he was before as God, where he, as God, Christ was not a mere man who later became divine, as Nestorius plattles in his delirium. He is God from before the ages, made man in these later times. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.